Happy Tuesday, friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca. Time now for your tropical update. All eyes on now Hurricane Idalia. We're talking maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour with some higher gusts. The movement now a little bit faster toward the north at about 14 miles per hour. It is getting its act together and it's going to have plenty of time to strengthen before it approaches the Gulf Coast of Florida. Right now a category one hurricane, but this is the fuel that it has to work with with water temperatures between 82 to 86 degrees. It's going to encounter this little loop current here in the Gulf of Mexico where uh, tropical cyclones that enter this part of the Gulf has had tendency to rapidly intensify and we can see that with this current forecast from the National Hurricane Center by this evening could be upgraded to a category two hurricane and by tomorrow morning we're talking about wind speeds of 120 miles per hour. This would become a major hurricane on its approach toward the big bend of Florida. We do have storm surge watches in effect. The storm surge forecast is calling for over nine feet of water along Cedar Creek or Cedar Key rather up toward Cross City all the way down toward Tampa Bay could be dealing with some very high surf. Hurricane Adalia also brings tropical store or hurricane warnings I should say along with tr uh, tropical storm warnings. So you know that the winds of this system will be impacting that coastline. Conditions will be deteriorating within the next 24 to 36 hours. Here is a look at the other areas we are monitoring. Franklin drawing closer toward Bermuda, a category four hurricane. We also have two other areas that we'll be monitoring in the days ahead. Right now, a low to medium chance for some development here. The next name on the list will be Jose followed by Katia. All right, that's a look at your tropical update for now. Thanks for watching.